I'm Sergeant Mitchell with the U.S. Army Medical Department recruiting. We're going to do a continuation of talking about the 72 Deltas. So we're going to, let's go over the licensure and certification requirements. For promotion and retention at the field grade level, uh, state and national registration or certification in a specialty area relevant to public health is required. The following registration certifications are acceptable. Registration as a registered sanitarian or environmental health specialist, RSREHS, by a state registration board or the National Environmental Health Association. Certification as a professional engineer, a PE by one of the authorities participating in the National Council of, of Examiners for Engineering and Surveying. Certification in Public Health, a CPH, by the National Board of Public Health Examiners. Certification as a diplomat by the American Academy of Sanitarians, DAAS. Certification as a certified industrial hygienist, CH, um, CIH, by the American Board of Ind Industrial Hygiene Certification as a Safety Professional, a CPS, or I'm sorry, a CSP, by the Board of Certified Safety Professionals, Board Certified Environmental Engineer, a BCEE, by the American Academy of Environmental Engineers and Scientists, and other professional certification acceptable to the Surgeon General. Those are some quick references of talking about licensures and certifications. If you have these, make sure that you scan a copy of a, a proof of these certifications as they will be needed for your packet, okay? I always tell you I'm gonna keep you updated, well informed. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and do me a favor, make sure it's public so I can see you. That way I can reach out and I can assist you in any way that I can in helping you obtain a commission in the United States Army as an Army Medical Officer. Best wishes to you on your journey. I'm Sergeant Mitchell. I am your healthcare recruiter.